I'm here with track superstar Masai Russell, formerly of the Bullet School, now at the University of Kentucky. Um, I feel like I've known Masai for like a week, but in fact, it's been like four years. This is amazing. Masai, tell me a little bit about how we got to know each other. Um, so I think my dad knew you first, and then he introduced us because I was having a lot of back in the issues. So I got introduced to you through my father, and then I began to see you. And then the whole entire Bullish Track team began to see you as well. So um, we got to know each other, unfortunately, through an injury. Mm, okay, so how was that injury affecting your performance at that time? Um, it was affecting my performance very negatively because um, I couldn't complete practice. I couldn't perform how I knew I could perform. So I was having a lot of knee and back problems. And then when I came to you, um, you fixed it in like the second visit. I was like, I've been going to all these doctors, and my problem solver is right here. So that, um, so you helped me a lot through my negative, and then making it to my positive performance. Well, thank you for that, Masai. But I can't take all the credit. I know that when we got started with you, you were very diligent in in taking on some new routines and some new habits, some new behaviors. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah. So. Um, Diet was a big thing. I know even before I had seen you, um, I knew my diet was somewhat important, but after I seen you giving me like the collagen, the protein, all the, those things and the vitamins, those very, those really helped my success, I definitely believe. And also um, staying hydrated, drinking lots of water, um, and just taking practice more serious, even though I've always thought it was more serious, but new as coming further to college, it was going to be more like a job, just taking it more serious and just taking every rep like it's my last. So <clears throat> tell, tell me a little bit. I know you had a little bit of success in high school, so I've heard. Tell me a little bit about some of your accomplishments in high school. Um, so my first major um, accomplishment was getting all met like every year um, from my sophomore to senior year because I don't think they give it to freshmen. So getting all met and then my senior year, getting Gatorade Player of the Year, um, getting all Met Player of the Year, being U.S. number one in the 300 hurdles and the 400 hurdles. Being, um, I also received a number four all time in high school history in the 300 hurdles. And it's just so many. I don't know. No. I, I think those are the major ones. Oh, and I also made the USA team in 2017 um, on the Pan American Games and to Peru. And how did you do that there? I got the bronze medal and the 400 hurdles, and... <laughs> wow. So, after a long ride, you end up at the University of Kentucky. Tell me how that transition has gone for you. It's going great. I can definitely say that the Bullets coaches have prepared me and helped me a lot throughout my whole entire success leading up to college because going into college, I thought it was going to be a major change, but um, Bullets definitely set a strong foundation for me to succeed in. It hasn't been a very tough switch at all. I think it's actually been like the smoothest transition that I've ever had to go through. So outside of uh, the athletic commitments, what has been the biggest challenge for you in college? Um, I don't think there's any major challenge that I go through because Bullis, I think Bullis prepared me like well-roundedly because um, like all the people that I know, they're, they struggled and like through our academics and meeting people and networking and all that, it all played a big role. So I don't think there's any major challenge that I had to face. So what are you studying right now? Kinesiology. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so what does life look like for you after college? Um, if I do not go pro, which is my main goal, I want to either be a physical therapist or get somewhere into the coaching or athletics, something in that region. I'm not quite sure yet, so ask me in a couple of years and then you'll see. <laughs> so do you have any fears for the future? No, um, I just live day by day. I don't try to think about the future too much because like whatever happens, it happens and whatever comes, like what whatever life comes at you, you have to face it just like a hurdle. That's what I'm good at, so. <laughs> So that's the main thing, but I don't have any fear. I have, I have a good feeling that I'm going to be very successful because that's what I've always planned to do. Have there been any tips that we shared with you that you still adhere to today in college? Or 
you repeat that question? Have there been any tips that you've gotten for us from us at Capital Rehab or with any of the trainers or any tips you... Yeah, most definitely. Um, stretching is a main, like, super important. So I always make sure I stretch like 10 times more than I used to before I came here because stretching is a big deal. Like if you don't stretch, you can pull up. And especially me, like I'm a runner. So if you don't stretch, pull a hamstring, tear something, and then you're out for weeks to even a season. So capital rehab definitely helped me to always remember stretching before competing. <laughs> All right, beside, look, I, I know you're uh, only in town for a little while. So I have one more question for you. What? What advice would you share with a young person, a, a middle schooler or a high school athlete who wants to be a student athlete, wants to be Masai Russell someday? What would be your advice to them? First, try to be better than me. I don't like to like to say be, be like someone else, like be your best self. And also just continue to work hard, stay focused. Don't let any outside distractions um, affect what you have in mind and what your main goal is. So... Just staying focused and staying on your task. If you know what you want to do in the future, strive for it and get after it every day. So, Masai, I'm gonna, we're obviously going to keep following you and tracking your success. I really appreciate your time. And uh, good luck with everything. Thank you.